अमित जी से सवाल ना पूछूं तो पीसी में मजा नहीं आएगा मुझे तो अमित जी योर इलेक्ट्रिफाइंग परफॉर्मेंस यू नो एंड येट योर आई मीन सच अ ग्रेट वॉइस एंड योर एक्शंस यू नो इट इज सो जस्टिफाइड इवन टुडे आई मीन यू आर एबल टू आई मीन व्हेन यू ऑन द स्क्रीन इट्स ओनली यू एंड यू how do you, you how would you like to tell us about it like you know how do you ma maintain it uh, thank you so much madam for all these very kind words i'm least deserving of it uh, i've always believed that the writer and the director are the main people the writer writes the uh, the director conceives it passes it on to the writer he becomes the actor and um, most of what you see in all my films are indications that i get from a director he will tell me where to walk how i should speak many a times we if we are preparing at home uh, we come prepared with certain notions as to how a scene needs to be done but when we get on to the set we find that it is completely wrong um there's no scope for argument i believe on set uh, if i have to convey something or uh, or disagree with any point i would rather uh, do it during the time the narration is happening uh, debate discuss agree disagree whatever you have to do offset once you're on set then you follow what the director says that's what i believe in but right. i think that there has to be a certain belief in in the story in the character that you're playing and much before uh, we actually conceived sarkar um ramu and me used to meet quite often uh, informally and i always was very intrigued by one aspect of life and the life of people who are in power and i believe that um, it's not all as transparent and easy as it seems uh, to people outside they are individuals they are human beings they lead a normal life as well but yes uh, they are given powers which uh, give them access to certain kind of actions and deeds which affect millions and millions of people where that comes from is guarded by uh, their own political belief their party that is in power and if they are in power uh, what the government decides to do but what intrigued me was that every powerful person has a family has a home has uh, has people who are close to him and uh, no home i think can be uh, known to be absolutely perfect and free there are opinions there are differences of opinions everyone has a has a viewpoint so what if over the dining table in the morning or at breakfast this powerful man who is the number one person of the country or a state or the entire universe is having a normal breakfast with his family and one member of his family could be his wife could be his son his daughter uh, disagrees on certain issues that he, it, it could be anything uh it could be you know which car are you going to drive or why are you wearing a particular dress and there is an argument and what if this powerful man is irritated with this member of his or her family and is in that mood asked to attend a very grave meeting which is going to decide a government decision which is going to affect millions of people does it affect that decision making of his or not and i believe that uh if you're in that kind of mental state where you're irritated with something does that irritation carry forward to this very important decision that you're going to make which is going to affect millions and millions of people in their lives that is what intrigued me and that is what i shared with uh, ramu when we used to have informal sittings for sarkar and uh, so most of what you see in the film is an incorporation of a lot of these thoughts it's commonly known as palace politics and it happens in almost all palaces uh, not necessarily these grand structures but even a small house can become a palace and and that intrigued me a lot and uh, i think uh, ramu was one person that truly understood the the context of what we discussed several times and it was absolutely brilliant the way he incorporated it in his screenplay and in his films